Hi there guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to The Plant. We're here at site three at the moment where I wanted to answer a question somebody wrote in about. They were like, how do you measure how much power you're putting out to the grid? It's really simple and a little terrifying. Modern power plants work the same way, but this is more old school. And if you've ever worked in an old industrial building, it's exactly the way they measure your power going in. We just do it going out. So let me show you how this works. We've got these here, where first I'm gonna stand back and show you the whole state-of-the-art high-tech rack that we have here. Okay, so that's, that's what we're looking at. Now we'll go in here and you can see the, the three main feeds. Okay, now we have XYZ, different parts of the country will have ABC or 123, we have XYZ. And you can see that up there, those are our three phases because we output three phase power. So we measure this with these, which are potential transformers. And we measure it with those up there, which are current transformers. So there's a process to it. Um, but basically what this is, is a calibrated transformer. In fact, I'll show you the, the label on it there. And this steps the voltage down to something our meter can read. And it works the same way up there with the current transformers, except those work a little differently in that the main conductor goes right through the middle of it and there's a winding around it and we tap off of that. And if you hook those up wrong, you get a, a pretty wicked high voltage transformer that you never want to mess with. And you can see there's, it's kind of neat here for all of my electrical engineering friends because you can see how the conductors come in and they go to each bus back there. And then you can see how we do the taps off the bus to get our different voltages in different configurations. So that's pretty cool. And then up there, those are our main disconnects. That, that totally disconnects us from the grid in here. And there's another set of those outside on uh, either side of our little substation. So there you have it. That's how we measure the voltage and the current at a little tiny baby powerhouse. So to give you guys an idea, we've got 18 feet of head, 810 horsepower, at 200 RPM. So she's a little torquey. And that's, there's only uh, one turbine here in this particular plant. So that's all the power we output. So if we, we take those numbers that we know, now we can go look at the meters and see what we can get out of this. All right, so here's our, our this, this entire box, there really isn't much to it, is all our gauges and controls. Cause this is a, a really small, simple operation here. And you can see we've got our grid voltage. So that's our connection to the national power grid. This is the voltage that's coming out of the generator right now. This is our amps out of the generator. And this is our kilowatts. So we're putting out eh, about 300,000 watts. That's, that's how much we're generating right now. This is our synchroscope, which we use for uh, when we synchronize to the grid. And this is our frequency gauge, which is, it's probably the gauge is off because I'm pretty sure that like we're synced to the grid. The grid's gonna be 60. So yeah, so that's, and then there's some adjustments for the wicket gate, for the blade angle. This particular turbine actually has adjustable variable pitch on the um, turbine, which is pretty cool. So that's, that's what we're putting out right now. We're, we're making about 300 kilowatts. It's a good day in the electrical industry.